Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Atefe. I've decided to start a new series of videos which will be reactions to celebrities house. I think it will be fun and we can learn something simultaneously. Hi AD, I'm Jesse. I'm Justin. Welcome to our home in LA. My first video will be about just Tyler Ferguson's house in Los Angeles with his partner. By the way, they are so cute. This video is one of the latest from Architectural Digest and their house is so homey, not just like a stage if you know what I mean. So let's just get into it. This is my first time doing this kind of video. I'll be looking at the pictures and videos here on my laptop. You can see me here and the video and pictures over here and I hope it works out just fine. This is our <laughs> dining room. It's, um, well, it's one of the, the first spaces you see in the house. Well. First, we're gonna see the dining room, as they put it, the first space you see in the house. There are some elements that I like in the space and some that I don't. I mean, the lighting fixtures, the pendant one, are pretty cool and unique. I like the custom art they've put up there. Um, when I'm talking about customizing your house, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Of course, they are rich and they can pay someone to do custom art for them, but you can do it yourself and I'm sure you'd be better at it, if you know what I mean. Well, I don't like the color palette generally. I would use different colors, especially for chairs and rug. And even though this artwork is kinda cool, maybe it's not right for here, considering the color combination. I also like the fact that this room was probably a big room and the decorator separated it with this shelf. Welcome to the great room. <laughs> <laughs> then there is what they call it a great room, which I prefer over the previous area. Uh, this space has more texture, for instance, the stone wall adds character and depth, the large lighting fixture around the ceiling isn't really my taste. And I'm not the biggest fan of the rug either. A darker beige might have been a better choice, in my opinion. However, the custom photo they have hung really speaks to me. It makes the space feel cooler. We are in the family room. Next up is the family room, which is a shared dining and living area. And I've got to say this dining slash living space concept is great. Uh, however, I'm not a fan of lighting fixtures, not the, not the pendant one, the other ones. The color of walls is great, but I'm not keen on this rug either. And this piece, how are they going to clean it? So this is uh, obviously our bedroom. Sorry, I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous. Our kitchen. Well, the kitchen. The color of cabinets is amazing. So warm and inviting. As they emphasize, the big island is so practical for both dining and preparing food. We see some open shelving. Not too much, just enough to show off cookbooks and some kitchenware. Everything looks great here. The powder room. Well, I can tell you one thing. These small tiles are so trendy now, and I think they're really nice. Uh, I like the vibe, the coloring, and of course the wallpaper. I'm not sure about the lighting all around the mirror though. I mean, I've seen this trend a lot these days, but in my opinion, it's neither practical nor beautiful. So this is what you call a landing, apparently. Well, let's see. I really like this area. The furniture choices so far are so practical and down to earth. Uh, here as well, the area is so simple and cozy with a good color palette. I really like these two artworks and the, um, the accent uh, lighting on them. This is technically a bedroom that we took over to be our office space. Okay, the home office. The vibe is different from the other areas and that's how a home office should be. Um, it implies that this is a workplace. I really appreciate that they've created so many beautiful custom art pieces from so many memories. That's how a house should be. It's weird that you're already in our bedroom. Um, okay. <laughs> well, the bedroom. I think it's perfect. Except for the barn door. I mean, come on guys, there are so many better options out there. Uh, the bedroom is so big and airy with bright neutral colors. I love this headboard even though I'm not the biggest fan of headboards. Everything looks great. This is our primary bath. The primary bath has two elements that makes this space so unique. The rocks and plants. Guys, incorporate these two in your spaces 
and you would be amazed. Everything will be different in a good way. So this is a bonus room that we call the game room. Okay, this is a game room and I think it's how it's supposed to be. I mean, we expect a game room to be like this. This is the ADU. And last, this is how they put it, the ADU room. Mm, I don't like it that much, especially the, li the library section. I mean, the designer could have used this room in much better ways. I'm sure you guys all agree. All right, that wraps up our tour. I hope you enjoy going through this pretty cool space. If you do, smash the like button and subscribe for more reaction videos. And don't forget to drop your thoughts below in the comment section and let me know which house do you like me to do next. Catch you in the next video.